Welcome to the Ring Retrofit Alarm Kit. We're going to show you how to successfully set up your wired contact sensor zones. You can find complete instructions on our website at ring.com slash retrofit. Please watch this entire video before installation. This is an advanced DIY project, not recommended for anyone who does not have electrical wiring experience. Your safety is important to us. Please carefully read all instructions and warnings related to the Retrofit Alarm Kit prior to installation and use. The Retrofit Alarm Kit is designed for wired contact sensor zones. If you'd like to add other closed loop wired zones which require power, you'll need to provide an appropriate power source for those zones. Please note that smoke, heat, and carbon monoxide detectors are not supported by the Retrofit Alarm Kit. If you have wired smoke, CO, or other life safety devices that are actively monitored, do not attempt to install the retrofit alarm kit. Let's get started. Make sure your ring alarm is connected to the internet and is not on cellular backup and is not armed. It can be either professionally monitored or self-monitored. If your current wired alarm system is actively monitored, call your monitoring company and ask them to put your alarm system in test mode. If you forget this step, you may set off your wired alarm system. The supplies you'll need for installation are the Ring Retrofit Alarm Kit, which comes with a number one Phillips head screwdriver. You also need a continuity tester or multimeter. You may also need a wire stripping tool, extra gauge 20 or 22 solid core wire, twist on wire nuts or wire connectors, and something to label the wired zones. Start by opening your wired alarm panel. If it's locked, the key might be right on top of the box. Next, look at the system and take photos of the alarm panel and wiring schematics. You'll also need to find the list of zones, which may be found on or near the door of the alarm panel or inside the keypad. Use the diagram to identify which wires are for the two wire contact sensor zones. Label the pair of wires from each wired alarm zone to make wiring your retrofit alarm kit easier. Visually inspect the wires and contact sensors for any damage or missing pieces. If any are damaged, they won't work with the Retrofit Alarm Kit. Now we're going to add the Retrofit Alarm Kit to your ring alarm. Start by holding the device near the ring alarm base station. Open the Ring app. Tap on the menu and tap Set up a device. Tap Security Devices. Tap Retrofit Alarm Kit. Tap Retrofit Alarm Kit again. Tap Ready. You'll be prompted to scan the QR code, which can be found on the inside cover of the device or on the card located inside the box. The app will tell you to power on the retrofit alarm kit by pulling out the battery tab. Once the retrofit alarm kit can communicate with the base station, you'll be asked to configure the device by naming it and adding it to a room. Next, move the retrofit alarm kit next to your wired alarm panel but do not mount it on the wall yet. Run the communication test, as prompted by the Ring app, to confirm that the retrofit alarm kit can send a signal to the Ring Alarm base station. If you see the light flash green, it passed the test. If you see the light flash red, the test failed. If the communication test fails, you can repeat the test. If it continues to fail, most likely the Z-Wave signal between the retrofit alarm kit and the Ring Alarm base station is too weak. You can add a range extender or move the ring alarm base station closer to the alarm panel. When the test is successful, the ring app will show all zones as available and you're ready to move on to the wiring process. Now we're going to wire up the retrofit alarm kit. Disconnect the power to the wired alarm panel by unplugging the AC power supply. If the transformer has a safety screw, unscrew it first, then unplug. Don't forget to disconnect the backup battery by removing both the red and black wires from the battery terminals. Now mount the retrofit alarm kit on your wall. We recommend using the included double-sided mounting tape strips. Simply clean the wall, peel off the backing, and stick the device on the wall. If you want to use screws and anchors instead, be sure to use the correct type for your wall material. We recommend that you test wire and configure the settings for each zone before moving on to the next zone. Let's see how this is done. First, check the integrity of your wired contact sensor zones to ensure that they are in good working order and will work with the retrofit alarm kit. 
make sure all doors and windows are closed. To test the zones, use a continuity tester or multimeter. Turn on your tester. Using the diagram, identify and remove a two-wire contact sensor zone from the alarm panel and wrap each end of the exposed wire around each end of the testing probes. If the zone test is successful, the tester will show a number. This number will vary based on your alarm panel. Congratulations, this zone can be successfully wired to the retrofit alarm kit. If the zone test failed, the tester will show the number zero. This means that the zone has no end of line resistor or is not working and it cannot be wired to your retrofit alarm kit. If the zone test shows the letters OL or open loop, the zone is open. Walk around your house to make sure all the doors and windows are closed. If everything is closed and the tester still reads OL, then the zone does not pass the integrity test and cannot be used. Any zones that fail the integrity test need to be diagnosed and repaired by a professional alarm installer or a licensed electrician. If a zone can't be repaired, wireless ring alarm contact sensors can always be used as an alternative. Now let's add the zone that passed the integrity test to the retrofit alarm kit, one at a time. If your wired alarm setup has very short wires, you'll need to lengthen the wires so they can reach the retrofit alarm kit. The retrofit alarm kit has 12 terminals. Each zone will be wired into one numbered terminal and one shared common, or C terminal, which will hold two wires. You can find a zone wiring chart at ring.com slash retrofit. Secure each wire to the retrofit alarm kit by turning the screw within each terminal using the included screwdriver. Now, check your Ring app. If you've installed the wires correctly, the zone within the Ring app should show the words, ready to test. Tap the zone to begin the zone setup test. Complete this test by opening and closing a door or window within that zone. Take your smartphone with the Open Ring app with you so you can watch the test complete successfully while you open and close doors or windows. If zone setup test is not complete successfully, you can find help on ring.com slash retrofit. If a zone does not pass this test, it cannot be monitored by Ring Alarm. After you finish the test, configure the zone using the app. You'll be asked to give the zone a name, assign the zone to a room or area within the house, and choose the placement of the zone. Placement means determining whether the zone should be treated like a door, which may have entry and exit delays, or a window, which does not have delays. If your zone contains both doors and windows, we recommend that you choose door in order to reduce the potential for false alarms. Complete the integrity test, wiring, zone setup test, and zone configuration steps for each wired contact zone. When you've completed wiring all zones, place the cover back on the retrofit alarm kit. Now you're ready to arm and disarm your ring alarm as usual, including your new wired contact sensor zones. You can find more help at ring.com slash retrofit.